in a strange, interesting, but only, but very like much of a New York City kind of story, though it could happen in any major metropolitan area, the white Russians, who are the, uh, it's kind of a, it's a term for the aristocrats of the Russian Empire, right? The Tsar's family, the people that were left that were not killed in the revolution. They also came to New York City, and for reasons that I'm, I can only guess because they wanted borscht and they wanted vodka, they came to the Russian Tea Room. Now, the thing is that my father was a Russian Jew, right? And the white Russians were kind of what we say, like, on their ass, they were broke, right? This particular group. There were some that had jewels and lived in Paris and you know, they'd managed to take stuff with them. Uh, but this group, not so much. And so they would come in every afternoon and order boiling water and bring their own tea bags. Now my father was a very hardworking man, 24 hours a day. He also cursed like a sailor. I'm not doing that tonight because I feel like, you know, it may be intergenerational audience and I want to keep it clean. But for those of you who know what cursing like a sailor sounds like, that was something he pretty much did like every sentence that ever came out of his mouth. <laughs> so he would wait. I'm not sure why he was going with the whole white Russian thing at all, but I guess some part of him was like, it looks good to have the restaurant full. If you've ever had a restaurant and it's empty, it, it breaks your heart. So these people kind of like look good on the banquet between like three and five o'clock clock and they'd come in day after day after day and then finally he'd say that's it get the out of my restaurant right and he'd kick them all out and a couple of weeks would go by and then they'd start to come in again one by one by one <laughs> all gather on the long panquette and order boiling water and bring their own tea bag now I'm, I'm assuming that they also I'm sure somebody had a bowl of borscht I mean I just can't see that they're not maybe getting a blintz you know what I'm saying maybe not caviar because those days are behind them but they're doing they're doing something right uh, but not enough you know what I mean, to warrant the free boiling water.